Item number SCP-1541 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Due to the location and nature of SCP-1541-1, current containment procedures consist of redirecting the current civilian studies of the G-34.3 celestial body to areas where SCP-1541 is not currently located. As well, efforts are currently being made to suppress information on the gradual shrinkage of the ethanol cloud contained therein. Researchers currently assigned to SCP-1541 are allowed to respond to SCP-1541-1 through SCP-1541-2. All researchers who are currently assigned to SCP-1541 who converse with SCP-1541-1 should report and attempt to dissuade any mention of SCP-1541-1 desiring to return to Earth due to security and public exposure concerns. All instant message service providers in the area of initial contact are currently being monitored for any further attempts by SCP-1541-1 to contact additional descendants of its original followers. In addition, SCP-1541-2 should be kept in working condition and powered on at all times in order to intercept and monitor communications made by SCP-1541-1 and facilitate communication between SCP-1541-1 and the current research team attached to the project. All messages should be logged with the records department. Description SCP-1541-1 is an entity located in the approximate location of the G-34.3 ethanol cloud in the Aquila constellation. It claims to be the physical representation of the deity redacted, and that it has been attempting to contact the descendants of its former followers for what it approximates as the past 100 years. SCP-1541-1 currently shows a tendency towards alcoholism and manic depressive disorder. SCP-1541-2 is a redacted brand cellular phone whose number was reallocated to a Foundation-owned communications network upon discovery and containment. Logs of the messages that were sent to and from SCP-1541-1 through a currently unknown method, as SCP-1541-1 denies possessing any communication devices, are to be registered with the Records Department for review and research purposes. SCP-1541-1 and SCP-1541-2 were first brought to Foundation's attention through contact with one Amanda Beep of Beep Michigan. SCP-1541-1 and SCP-1541-2 were discovered during an interview by a member of a Foundation staff. Under the assumed identity of a technical support representative for the redacted telephone company, after the situation reached Foundation Information Analyst, she claimed she was receiving disturbing messages from someone who knew of her great-grandmother, Elizabeth Beep, who had been deceased for almost 20 years at the time of initial contacts, and discussing several rituals that it demanded to be performed. Examination of the cellular phone records have corroborated her statement and produced a 27-character designation that does not correspond to any long system. The witness's memories of the event were depressed, and she is currently under Foundation observation to determine if there have been further communication attempts made by SCP-1541-1 or other known descendants of the original cult that worshipped SCP-1541-1 are currently being tracked by MTF Tau-17 for identical reasons. Consult document SCP-1541-1 for a sample of notable messages sent to and from SCP-1541-1 by the initial witness. It should be noted that all messages were originally sent in short message service text format and has been transcribed as accurately as possible to the standard interview format for records keeping purposes. Document SCP-1541-1 Forward The following is a log of the messages saved on SCP-1541-2 between SCP-1541-1 and Amanda Beep approximately three days before the Foundation discovered SCP-1541. Begin log. Hello, beautiful. 
Hi, who is this? It is I, the great god, Dato expunged. Will you bear yourself before me? Oh, God, the Gabes gave my number to you? I know not of this Gabes. I searched the cosmos for the proper electrical flow to speak to you. I think you got the wrong phone number, guy. Please stop texting me. Impossible! Are you not Amanda Beep, the youngest of the Beep family? Quit messaging me! It is you! Oh, joyous day! You're not going to quit, are you? Look, Asso, this has been a long day and I don't need this. Ah, just like Elizabeth. Wiry and rude. Why has your family not performed a ritual of blood and wine in ten decades? I demand reference. Prostrate yourself before the fire of Dato Expunge and bear your flesh to the night sky, and this so it may please me. I'm calling the cops. What are these cops you speak of? Hello? The rich are cops. Ugh. This happens all the time. Your people ignore me. I grow weaker by the day. I am sorry. Didn't realize I had a caps lock on. Forgive me. Hello? Amanda? Amanda? We just a note. SCP-1541-1 continues in this style of message 57 times during the next 45 minutes, with increased repetition of the woman's name and usage of punctuation marks. Eventually... Starting with message 28, using what was determined by the linguistic department as Babylonian expletives and various threats. And finally, by message 43, more pleas for the aforementioned rituals to be performed. Fine, you little whore. I bet you'll worship that asshole long way now, don't you? Jesus Christ, stop already! I freaking knew it! Sell out! What the frick is your problem, man? Just leave me the hell alone. You are just like everyone else. I bet the doctor doesn't have to put up with this crap. He just sent us one of his frog assholes to screw you up. You know something? You can keep your freaking Yahweh. I find you worshippers. I don't need you. Later, wretch. It's just a snow. Approximately three hours passed before... SCP-5411 attempts to contact Amanda Peep again. Look, I'm sorry for calling you a bitch. I'm just been drunk for a while and really lonely. Please talk to me. I don't have anyone left but you. God freaking damn it! Stop texting me! I've only asked you at least three times and really don't need this crap now. Well, screw you too. Go to hell, asshole. Maybe I will. After I finish this drink. End log. Closing statement. No further messages were recorded between SCP-1541-1 and the initial witness. And SCP-1541-1 did not attempt to contact her again for four days, at which time SCP-1541-2 was in Foundation possession. SCP-1541-1 expressed distress at the fact that it was denied contact with its original worshippers and immediately attempted to coerce the three researchers assigned to SCP-1541 into performing supplicatory rituals. All requests for completion of these rituals were denied.